today I am going to explain about nasal how to insert the nasogastric tube inside the nostril. So there are some basic indications in which we can administer nasogastric tube. Uh, first of all, the patient is unable to eat through the mouth. Then we can administer nasogastric tube to the patient. And if is there any ulceration formation inside the mouth, any impaired gastric mobility? So due to these circumstances, if patient can't eat anything through the mouth, then we can administer nasogastric tube, and it make it easy for the patient to get a meal at a proper time. So for this procedure, we need an article. My tray contain first of all. 50 cc syringe through which I after inserting the uh, nasogastric tube I can check the proper place of the nasogastric tube inside the stomach. I need a kidney tray if there will be any kind of a secretion then I can collect that all secretion in my kidney tray and next is this nasogastric tube it's a it is a tube through which I can provide the meal to the patient and which it will go directly into the stomach of the patient and, and I can insert this tube through the nostril and through the nostril it will reach to the stomach. Then I need a gloves, gloves for, uh, it will prevent from any cross infection from myself to another person and uh, I will, uh, it pre basically it prevent from any contamination. I need a towel. I will place under the chin of the patient to prevent from any spoilage, spillage on the patient. So these are, are my articles. So first of all, I will place the towel on the chest under the chin of the patient to prevent from any contamination and spillage on the patient. Then I will open the packet of a nasogastric tube and uh, I will measure the length of the nasogastric tube from nose to ear, ear to stomach. So whatever the actual length of uh, will be of the nasogastric tube, I have to mark on that length. So when I will administer that nasogastric tube inside the nose, so uh, uh, there will be not any confusion how much I have to insert or not. So this is the major purpose to measure the length of a nasogastric tube. So prior to administering nasogastric tube, I need a jelly. Implementing the jelly on my gloves, I will lubricate the tip of the nasogastric tube. So it will make it easy to insert the nasogastric tube inside the nostril. So I will tell the patient, behave like he, if, uh, he or she have to behave like uh, he is uh, engulfing any sip of waters. So it will make it easy to, for the patient, he will not get a cough during inserting of that nasogastric tube. So then I will... I can administer in any nostril of the patient and uh, after lubricating this, I will insert that nasogastric tube slowly, slowly and I also can see, uh, I also can say to the patient like open the mouth, I can see if the nasogastric tube is going correct or not. Now uh, whatever the mark I mention on the tube, I can add, uh, insert on that mark. Now, I inserted that nasogastric tube in the nostril of the patient. Then after that, before fixing the nas nasogastric tube, I have to check the position of that nasogastric tube, if it is properly inserted or not. There, is, there are two ways in, uh, how, in which we can correct the place. Uh, we can detect the correction of uh, the place uh, in, uh, where, the, where I administer the nasogastric tube like uh, by using 20 ml syringe or 50 ml syringe like uh, now we have a 50 ml syringe then I can use 50 ml syringe. By applying that 50 ml syringe with a nasogastric tube I will administer some secretion. If the secretion is coming in your tube then it means your nasogastric tube is at proper place. It is in stomach. Then secretion will not come then it means you administer that nasogastric tube at the wrong place. And if any kind of a di di different color secretions like a red, like brown is coming, then it means there is something is wrong inside the body. You administer wrong. This, uh, if, and if a patient feeling any kind of a respiratory distress and patient is fainting, then immediately remove that tube from the nostril of the patient. So, if the secretion is coming, then it means it's a good sign. You are placed well that nasogastric tube in the nostril of the patient. And there is a second, another way through which you can see, uh, check it's a right correction of the uh, tube. Like, open the tip of the 
vasogastric tube place this syringe on the vasogastric tube and then ask to say to another person like i will give it a stethoscope to the another person and he will and i will place and another person will place their stethoscope on the abdomen of the patient then i will i will press that part of that is a part of the syringe with a force and if another person will listen proper sound inside the stomach with the help of a stethoscope like good sound like the this kind of sound it means that that vasogastric tube is at right place if a patient feeling any kind of respiratory distress and patient is fainting then immediately remove that tube from the nostril of the patient so assurance you can apply the adhesive tape any kind of tape on the nostril and you can fix this tube so patient will not can can expel out that nasogastric tube it will make easy for the patient if a patient is unconscious and patient have not control on their limbs extremity movements then you can fix this otherwise if patient is able to understand everything you have to fix because because without any with a uh, by mistake he can expel out that uh, air tube so it will make it easy for the patient the uh, nasogastric tube will not easily ex